darlings, and welcome to Mum D Does. I am Dee, a mum who does it all, and today we are baking Lithuanian buns with a curdy centre in the middle. For this recipe, I am using 300 grams of milk curds. If you're not sure how to make those, check out this recipe up by here. Um, and also you can make a delicious bland from the whey that you're going to be left with. Um, James is an expert on that. Once again, a video is here. I also have the yolks of three eggs, 500 grams of flour, a quarter of a litre of milk that I've heated up so it's warm to the touch, not too hot, 50 grams of butter, a cup of sugar, and a pinch of salt. I also have some raisins to add just because why not? I have them. James would probably use them for his wine, but uh, I've pinched a cup before he can do that. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is put a sprinkle of bread yeast into the warm milk, just so it can start to rise a little bit. And I also going to put five tablespoons of sugar in there. Ronnie. Give it a good stir and just let the yeast have a little party in there. Do their thing, multiply. Because we want these buns to rise just like the bread rises. You're having a good time, aren't you? In the meantime, I am putting the flour, egg yolks, and softened butter into the bowl here. A pinch of salt, pinch, and the remaining sugar. Now I'm putting the milk with the yeast. Yes, and we're giving it a good stir and a knead. Stir, stir, stir. So we're basically making a dough. Flour, egg yolks, sugar, milk. I don't know how it's meant to look. I've never done these before. But for the sake of nostalgia and a bit of Lithuanian ways in Ron's life, why not try to recreate some of these recipes and dishes from my childhood? And by the looks of him, he seems to be enjoying the process of baking and creating and cooking. And I think that is the main thing. That's kind of what the whole homeschooling idea is about. And also teaches him about not only food preparation, but also his heritage. I'm done kneading the, the dough. I'm going to let it rise for a little bit. Uh, let the yeast do its thing. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the center curd filling. Think of it as cheese. It's almost like a cheese filling as the curds are made from milk and could then be used to make a farmhouse style cheese but instead I'm using them for cooking and baking with as curds is something that's widely available in Lithuania as a product on the shelf of a supermarket and yet it's not something that's available here in Britain so now that I know how to make it myself um, I'm able to recreate all these recipes Ron has the right idea, we're taking our curds and I'm gonna put the raisins into it because why not? I like raisins and Ronnie likes raisins. Can you mix it? Mix it. Into my mixture of curds and raisins, I am adding a little bit more sugar and another egg. It calls for an egg yolk. But I don't see the point of wasting the egg white, so I'm going to put all of it in. Good, good stirring. There we go. And now, I think it's time to make the buns. So we take our bread dough. Give it a bit of a knead and then I'm going to pinch a little bit, roll it out, squish the center in the middle, squish, 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 squish like that, squish, squish, good job, squishing, squish, 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 no, no, they're not going to be picture perfect with Ron helping me, but as I say, he's enjoying it and they're still going to be tasty regardless, squish in the middle, squish, Poke, 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 love. Squish, squish. What I need to do now, I have six buns, so I need to roll up the curd into little balls. Like this, like a little filling. And now you want to let the buns rise for another 10 minutes, just so they engulf the filling around the edges. And then you want to preheat your oven to 180 degrees and bake the buns in the oven for about 20 minutes. Mmm, 
It feels like a cheesecake is put on top of a scone. That sort of combination of flavor, but it's nothing that I've eaten in Britain. Um, but they're so delicious. They are sweet. The bun is sweet and then the cheese kind of feels refreshing and fresh. Almost like when you get the um, donuts with custard filling. You know that sort of freshness that you get from the custard? It feels the same way. But a bit more substantial, kind of like a cheesecake on top of the on top of a scone. So definitely worth making again. And I'm really pleased they turned out to be really nice. And I'm pleased there's more because yum yum yum. There goes my diet, I'm afraid. <laughs> can have these both hot or cold, they're delicious either way. Well worth making. Red pudding. Yes. The family likes them. Definite success. Relatively easy to make. So I'll be definitely making some more of these. This could be like the D's special. That's unusual, that's different, that's... Kind of has that Lithuanian feel to it, and James likes it, and Ronnie likes it. And as I say, it's not something I've seen in Britain, so it could just be a D's special. I never thought I would have a D's special, seeing as I'm not a cook at all, <laughs> and I don't cook. Or maybe I do cook. I guess I do cook now. And I have a special. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe down below to find out what Mum D does next week. Ta-ta for now! Bye. Did you have fun?